man, oh man, it is funny. I started the video off a few seconds ago, I had to cut it anyway. It's like you have one thing planned and like I said, other people come right in between it. That was the guys across the street asking me if I have time to check out theirs. Alright, anyway man, what we got right here is we got a 534060 going into a Monte Carlo SS86. Man, you know what's funny? Uh, the more I realize I'm always getting into these situations, man. I found myself last month, I had a guy that, man, found himself that he want to come to the shop every day because he was off and hang out. Now, some people might think that that was cool, but, man, it's hard, and I don't like when someone is all over my back when I'm working. That's why I started doing what I'm doing. But anyway, man, just... That stuff always get me stressed, get me a, it seems like it gets you anxiety, man. Like you get a headache from that kind of stuff. But once again, that was one client. The month before that, I gave another dude back 4000 That dude, he owed me 2200 You let that money go. You know, and it's like, how can you be letting money go? Letting money go just to keep from being stressed. And it's like, that's what I did. The last guy, you know, I end up having his car. You tell him it's going to take a month. A week into it, he want to get his car back. Not because of, well, I can't even call it, but I could say one thing. It's just like, I'm not going to work on no one else's speed and their pace. So, some stuff really don't go right with it. So, I end up giving him back 4000 So, yeah, basically, I'm trying to just tell you guys, man, it's like you need to be real particular on what you take in. And the amount of stress people apply on you. I got this car. Monte Carlo. This guy seen it the other day. Seen the position it was in. Know that we need items. You try to be real with people and try to tell them that this is not no overnight process. It takes a while to get stuff done. But they got a fictitious idea in their mind like this is an alternator and a starter repair. But anyway... What we got here is going in there. I'm using metal mounts. I'm going to go ahead and show you which kind we're using right here. G-body mounts I got. Already got my motor mount sit inside here already. Briefly spray painted the frame. Uh, just going to drop it in here, man, and start doing all the rest of the other small stuff after. Uh, it's pretty simple if you ask me. Uh, G-body, I cut my fuel lines right there, pulled it out the frame, mounted my stuff. Uh, my plans are to get the motor, get the trans in. I have a harness already started working over already. Uh, yeah, like I said, this would be a pretty good one. Guy has a painter he wants to get to do this project. So, anyway, just trying to get it closer to done, man. Closer to done. Let's go ahead and try to get this thing in here. Map it out. We're not running that clutch fan. It's just sitting on there. Anyway, stay tuned, man. Got some more videos coming up.